Welcome back. You're watching Meet the Diplomat. We now go on to talk about the relationship that we have shared. Historically, culturally, and traditionally, Afghanistan and India, they've been very close to each other. How do you see this relationship? You know, this relationship goes back to 2,000 years ago, at least. Then, uh, so our uh, cultural and uh, commercial relationship um, have their own history, and it's it's very brilliant history. And these days too, uh, there are very very good cooperation between these two republics, and uh, Indian friends have helped us a lot uh, to reconstruct the country. You know, after 30 years of war and destruction, probably you know that we lost almost all infrastructure of our uh, social lives, economical. And, and uh, Indian friends have been helping us since the beginning of uh, the interim government five years ago. And they are still helping us, and I'm sure in the future uh, uh, this cooperation uh, will be continued. And I will do my best to give more power to the relationship between these two countries. But what ideas on bilateral relations have you exchanged with India? I was Minister of Information and Culture of Afghanistan for, for five years. Uh, in the media field and culture field, uh, they did a lot. And our national radio, TV, the, um, its downlinks in the provinces and in different parts of uh, cultural and media fields. Indians helped Minister of Information and Culture. And the same thing happened with other ministries. Uh, so this is a vast area of cooperation. And at the time, we need this cooperation. Indian friends helped us. But what avenues of bilateral trade has Mr. Karzai seen as the most promising one? So for the, uh, for the beginning, President Karzai uh, believed that roads are more important than everything else, reconstructing uh, roads all over the country, particularly highways between different provinces. And uh, then electricity power, we lost many of those uh, power infrastructures and in both fields Indians are helping us. Afghanistan, their women never had that much of liberty but how is the situation condition as far as the liberty for women is concerned? Very good. Women are in very good uh, uh, situation now. So 25 percent of the parliament members are women. women now. Mm. Yeah. And in different ministries and in uh, different universities, in the Minister of Information and Culture, we had uh, uh, six uh, ladies in charge of six very important departments. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, really, they proved to work better than men, believe me. But one of the women, one of the female there, gets selected and it's made Miss World, and Afghanistan criticizes it. That's not the question of women right. That depends on other issues, but as long as uh, women rights... That's also one of the dimensions that the women touched, and th that should be appreciated rather than just uh, criticizing it. Don't so, you think so? First, everybody didn't do that, and uh, what is important at the moment is uh, women's share in the government, in the parliament, in the power, mm, and they are in good position when we talk about parliament, government, uh, universities. But of course, in the, um, you know, three decades of war has changed many things in the country. And uh, we, we are working hard to reach the point that... What are the main challenges do you think you'll be tackling this year, 2007? You know, the top concern of the people in Afghanistan is security and fighting against terrorism. And border management. Mm -hmm. And so when you take care of uh, security and terrorism, then you can solve other issues. 
day by day. It, it takes time, but uh, that's more important. Otherwise, when there's no security, when the terrorists enter the country and kill innocent people every day, and, and there are suicide bombs, and the, then, uh, of course, Body management is also one of the major issues? The management and, and also corruption in the government. And these are things that we have to take care of. Smuggling across the border is also going to be one of the major issues because Afga it's not only the problem for Afghanistan, it creates and it is a matter of concern for many countries. Yeah, so we have all these problems and uh, it's not easy to take care of all of them overnight. India has kept all its promises of aid that it has made to Afghanistan. Are you happy? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm satisfied and, and, and before coming here, when I was in charge of the Minister of Information and Culture, I was satisfied too. Why do you think Afghanistan remains one of the vital interest matter for India? So it's uh, traditionally we have had this kind of relationship since long, long time ago. That's right. And uh, that's why it is important for India and India is very important for us. When you go to Kabul, everybody loves uh, Indian movies. Everybody. Who's the most popular me. one there? <laughs> Who's the most popular star there? <laughs> oh, many, many. So you see their pictures everywhere. Dr. Rahin, you just said that India has been able to be a big help in re-stabilizing Afghanistan. So we hope and India keeps undertaking the considerable efforts to rebuild Afghanistan and we move on the road of bilateral trade, as you just mentioned, and uh, move on this road successfully. Thanks a lot for talking. That's all for today and meet the diplomats. See you next week again. Till then. Bye-bye.